Well, hello friends and welcome back to my channel. I'm Renee and it's another day of freezer meals I'm doing. Um, today is going to be a real easy one. My husband's favorite, absolutely favorite, he loves them in his truck. They are cheeseburger burritos. So let's get going and I'll show you how easy it is to put these together. Okay, so with this, these cheeseburger burritos, very easy. We're just going to use some burrito wraps, some tortilla wraps, uh, cheese. We've got, for our burger mixture, we've got sweet relish, mustard, and ketchup. And then for our burger, we got a pound of burger here because I'm not going to make a whole lot of them. And with that, we've got some seasoning that's going to go in the burger. I got my burner turned on medium. And I, my burger is all thawed. So we're going to put this in this pan. And I did my best to make, you know, when I, I buy big packs of burger, and I just did my best to make it, you know, right around a pound. So it works out good. With that, I'm going to put a little bit of pepper in here because everybody in my family loves pepper. I'm going to do just a little couple pinches of salt. Salt. That's, that's it. Just a few pinches. You can season your burger any way you like for you know, your cheeseburger. But I'm just going to do a little bit of salt, pepper, and a little garlic. That's it. I'm not going to put any onions in here. You can, and it's good with onions, but because my husband, onions just don't agree with him so well. He loves them, but I'm going to refrain from onions. I'm making this fairly plain for him, and that's how he likes it. When he orders his cheeseburgers, he just orders it with just cheese on it. So we're going to get this cooked up. And then I'll show you how easy it is to put this together. This stuff is fantastic. This is good for a quick lunch. I mean, you can take these to work with you, heat them up in the microwave, whatever. They make a nice, fast dinner. Your kids will love them. So. I'm going to get that all fried up. And I'm going to drain this burger because this burger is a little bit um, greasy. And then when I get it drained, I'll bring it back and I'll show you how we put this together. Okay, friends, I've got my burger here all cooked and drained. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to mix. You're going to use a, a half a cup of ketchup. Okay. No waste. We're also going to use, let me put this lid on here. We're also going to use a quarter cup, I'm going to do a quarter cup of this relish first. Nice quarter cup. I'm using sweet relish. Okay. And we're going to use a quarter cup of mustard. If you want more than that in here, you can by all means add more to it. But this is all I'm adding right now. Get that mixed up really good. That smells wonderful. If your family loves cheeseburgers, they're going to love this. And you don't have to put the relish in here if your family doesn't like relish, but it really does make it taste good. Okay? All right, we got that mixed up. Now we're going to, I'm going to show you how this works. We're going to get a tortilla here, and we're going to put a nice chunk of this burger into here. And we're going to take cheese and we're just going to top it with cheese and that's it and then we're going to turn this around 
and we're going to just roll this up just like so and there is your cheeseburger burrito beautiful hey we'll do another one And if you like, I need a little more cheese on it. You can, you know, when you serve these, if you're not going to put them in the freezer, you're going to make these fresh for a dinner. That you can do. They're wonderful. You can add your tomatoes and your lettuce and anything you want in this burrito. Oh, look at I cracked that. And there's the other one. Beautiful. You can add whatever you want to that, and it turns out wonderful. I'll do one more. I got enough for two here. My husband likes his nice and full and plump. So. Yeah, a little bit, because I'll divide this into four. You know, a pound of burger would make nice four, four nice sized burgers, and it'll make four nice sized burritos. Okay. You can put any kind of cheese you want in here. You know, this is really good with the. Um, pepper cheese too. Okay. Turn this around. Put that in there. Pull it back a little bit. And there you have your burrito. Beautiful. So there you have it, friends. That's how easy this is to put together. You can put it in your freezer. It makes a wonderful freezer meal. I'm going to send these with my husband on his truck. And all will be good. He's got his favorite meal with him. A little bit healthier. So there you have it, friends. Thanks for watching.